<laughs> Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. It is the show if you're new here. Adibos, Jesus Christ. My daughter. Taxi just come on. Let's wait somebody up to him. Sully. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's here. Come. Come, 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 he's here, he's here. What the hell? Listen, I see. All right, so I don't know where I was before, but hi, good morning, hello again. <laughs> hello again, so um, today I have to go on the road. I have a little errand to run, so I was gonna take y'all with me. So it's a day in the life again, just running a little errand. You know, I'll tell you, I'll probably tell you what it is. But for right now, my girls, my my baby girl's taxi came early because I'm always late. Like he's religiously late, so I'm on time for late. If you know what I mean, I say. So I was anticipating that time. So that's why I used to pick up camera and start vlog. Anyways, why these schools are like this? Like she's off. Our father took her out, but he popped in her bag from yesterday. We get this. It's a permission slip that you have to sign. I love these. I signed all mine in school because my mom was like, oh, you can just go ahead and sign it. Right? Um, why do school here love money so? I'm gonna really mean it in a bad way, but if you take it, if you take it away, that is so. Why do school here love money so? Like everything is a charge. $500, $3,000, Why am I paying a school fee? So the school fee is not really a school fee. It's a, what is the fee? What do you call the fee, right? It's an auxiliary fee. Cause the government says school's supposed to free, but you're paying thousands of dollars in an auxiliary fee. Plus one next to fee. I'm gonna remember you buy books, you buy uniform, you buy shoes, you buy PE gears, and the little $150 fruit day, $150 fucking water day. I'm gonna know whatever that is. Differently from that, they're having jeans day. You gotta pay a fee. They're having culture day, you gotta pay a fee. Aren't these schools government funded? Why am I funding you? Anyways, better get ready. All right, so I'm back. Low energy, right? Energy. Energy. Um, ugh. I just, I don't know, like, I started off the morning, I felt so energized, I felt so excited, so pumped, and now I'm like, I don't wanna go anywhere, do I have to do this? You know, it's like, it's inconveniencing me, and it's it's weird, I don't I don't know, I just don't wanna get back out there at this point, like maybe I'm gonna bed, I just don't wanna do I just don't wanna get back out there, like, I just don't, like, <laughs> I just don't but if i don't go then it's gonna come off rude i think and it's she just walked home from the bed coming up on the bed you know she just come off of the bed but yeah i don't know like i'm gonna, I'm gonna want to run away anyways oh this is her baby so this is Riley's baby, um, Gray. I don't know. I didn't agree. Here, hold baby. Yeah. Baby can't get baby. Yeah, yeah. Baby's on camera. Ooh, baby. She loves to see herself on camera. <coughs> Anyways, I'm gonna try and find something. Put myself baby together. Baby. It's early still. Don't matter what time, but true normal of procrastinate and indecisive and whatever i'm gonna take like some time so i'm gonna leave out like by 10 30 that's what i want to make to start getting ready by like 9 30 so i need to look something away from no mega wall i look fresh i don't know why i'm gonna be it won't be last night <laughs> now i'm gonna be um so yeah well i look fresh because it's hot like even if i never want to be like because it's hot like i feel i know i washed my face so that no cold but it's Jamaica. It's hot outside, B. It's hot outside. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And see if we can find something for you. If I find something for you, I'm gonna show you. Or if not, it's sleepy nights or whatever. And we'll probably just talk like when we reach back in the car. 
I had time for shoes on. Oh my god, you know, some of my packages are eight self to pick up. Who's gonna pay for that? I want my things. That will make me happy. That's like some motivation for the day. Like if I could pick up my packages. I wonder if baby wants to sponsor me. <laughs> He's outside washing the car. He wants me to look my best. Look at my man. He wants me to look my best. Like, you know, presentations, everything. That first impression. So I'm going in there with like a nice natural face i ain't giving fake my cream on my ear last night i'm sure i didn't do that because every time i cream my ear on camera it burn up and it don't look good i'm a cream my ear last night i didn't come out good why lord like you know i'm looking at one of the indian again only for like but yeah 8 35 you see this amount of your tail this is because she's actually being funny girl anyways she wants some attention. Let me give her some attention before I go shower. So I'll see y'all when I'm back in the car, maybe. And then I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You can already figure out what I'm gonna do. Not no big secret, but whatever. Alright, so I'm back and I'm ready. Like, look on the ear. It's giving Indian. It's giving um, Ah, <laughs> black and ease. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so let me turn that down. So I'm just about ready. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see what I have on. We can't prop up that stand here because I put it in pop my stand. So it's. Oh my God, I don't know like if it can even work. Can you see me? You guess what my other on? Like my other one want work pants or dress pants, as you call it. Um that if you know it's from you know it's from but anyways because me not have no like businessy kind of attire i think i have a lot of like shirt shirts but they're not necessarily appropriate appropriate shirts so me, I hope this is appropriate because it is one of those professional kind of settings and <coughs> me hey cha girl i draw me out i mean i try put myself together for that little something here Anyways, I originally wanted to wear my pink blazer. I'm mean, gonna you know why that pink blazer is just nasty dear. But I realized it's too big. I bought extra large and I really should have gone with a large. I'm mean, gonna you know why I feel like my bigger than. But anyways, um, so I'm <laughs> I would have worn my regular little matte black glasses because you know it's just it goes with everything and it's perfect and it just fit my face. But I was planning on wearing the pink blazer, so I was gonna wear my pink shades to say, hey, I'm fun. And I'm still gonna wear it because right now I'm wearing like dark tones, looking all businessy and whatever. Oh, you can see me. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Like, yeah. Watch this. What? Why? Why? Anyways, so you know it's giving corporate, right? <laughs> corporate Braxton. <laughs> That's what it's giving. So I'm you know, Mega puts on a little pink frame so it can say, hey, I'm still a fun girl, personality, whatever. So today I'm dropping the Chanel because like I said, I'm, I'm making that, I'm making that impression. Like you gonna remember me. Like whether you gonna pee me or not, you gonna remember me. I'll be like, yeah man, she. Yeah, yeah. So we're going with Chanel. So that's what we're gonna do. So Mega puts on that. Put on my glasses, drop off baby girl, and then Mega go away. So I'll see you. Bye. I got a job interview uh, and I know like in times like these like you know jobs are hard to get blah, blah, blah. but honestly I really was enjoying my time just being at home and just spending time with my kids I don't want to go back to work yet I know I will have to go back to work and you know, like obviously this economy like I don't have to go back to work but I'm just like right now like I'm gonna pencil it out for right now like I saw myself like having one more month like based on the maths 
let me have like one more solid month of freedom and then you know i could say well it's probably time and really and truly like the sole purpose of work right now i guess is for savings and to fund my habits pretty much because everything else is covered thank jesus but it's to, it's yeah that's what it is and i think that that makes me feel a little bit light going even going into this interview like i don't feel any pressure i don't feel like i don't feel anxious like i don't know what kind of questions they're gonna ask but i'm like so chilled about it I, I, and i don't want to come off nonchalant even though that's what my attitude is giving but like you know i don't feel any pressure to like you know i gotta get this job i can't no like i'm just gonna go in there and you know hi how are you and just be chill about it or whatever and i'm i'm just i'm not excited to go back into that corporate kind of thing that uh, i'm just not i'm not like i posted a vlog on why i quit my last job and i was so happy that i was able to quit my last job like i wanted to quit that job before i got the courage to quit that job like the environment was just so like <coughs> Like when smoke I suffocate you, that's the environment. That's the environment. Like you really didn't need Jesus like right this, all. And like a strong mindset. Um, it took a lot of energy. Like the work was not hard, but like the place, it was just sucking the life out of me. And I'm like, for this, I'm sacrificing this for this. It made no sense. Anyways, so what did you do to do one? No, that did go. But yeah, man, so like, forgot go about now in a space where, you know, it's just, it really kind of dampens the mood. And I guess that's why so much people have like side hustles and them try to them own a business or whatever because nobody wants to work for anybody. But it's not even about that. I just don't want to be in an environment like I was before. Like, I'm traumatized. I'm legit traumatized. And then the morning enough in my head, like, I don't know. Like, I, don't, I don't know what they're going to be saying, but I know what I want. <laughs> I know what I want, and I don't know if they, I don't know if they'll be willing. That's another thing. But um, yeah, like the work, or society, or culture, like Otiasa, Jamaica, Jamaica, right? Like them one y'all go hundred and fifty for fifty dollars. I'm gonna talk US. Like that's the energy. Like they want you going above and beyond, and they giving you bare minimum. You understand? And then we have no customer service. Like, as much as I was working in customer service, like, I have never... I can't recall right now. And if I can, I'll probably drop it back in the comment some later. And then, you know, retract what I say and thing. I understand me. I drive a seat today in half a train. But, yeah, um, we don't have no customer service. We don't have no internal. We don't have no external. It's just, you know, and even though you might not get along with everybody and, you know, like, everybody and whatever, but, like, like it's like they don't know how to separate their feelings from you know just like being at work and being a professional not hypocrite because me not have the energy for that either but if we're working we're working right you don't got to make it a toxic environment and that's what we do or that's what i see and I just don't want to go back into that. Like, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. I'm legit traumatized. And I don't want to go back into that. Like, I just want to keep building on my skills, my knowledge base. And I'm excited to do nursing. Like, I want to go back into nursing. Like, I can't wait for that venture. Like, I'm super excited. A lot's coming up. Can't wait to share my journey. And I am helping people along the way. It is crazy. And I'm a but yeah, so but a big bum clout BMW I go like say him on the road. Not because excuse my mouth. But yeah, a lot you know like we can't wait I can't wait to be like posting nurse they say content but I don't call it content but like, I can't wait to be posting about nursing and like my view my perspective of it my two cents of it like that has always been my dream we're so rich this up, but for now we're just have to go out of those and what's out. And that's what I'm just gonna try to do. I'm like, you know what? It never hurts to get an extra two dollars. But what I'm saying is I'm not gonna sacrifice my peace. Right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it too expensive. 
So, oh, this need like a breeze in my eyes. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back, right? So I just wrapped up the interview. This started on time, and you know, some people don't give a test. Me, at school, you don't know much about me, and I get, you know, I get it. We're learning about each other, so. Not a fun fact, but fact, I hate school. I hate school. You do it for do it, cause you know, I'm on a prod, and I'm not gonna lie, I like seeing the little the little things behind my name, the, you know, the RN, the BSC, the whatever, whatever, and I wanna keep collecting those, but I really do hate school, I hate the process. As I'm going there, I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on, some people are doing some tests, or filling out some something, so I'm like, I was like, you doing a test, and they're like, oh yeah, so I'm like, on the first day? Two tools, the gentleman to walking, nice and neat and cute. And he was like, you know, could you fill this out for me? And there's a little quiz at the back. I'm like, oh. I was like, I was like, already. He's like, yeah. They give us a test, but anyways, you know, your girl. Like, as much as I hate school, like, you know, when, when a time, oh no, no, not last time, when a time, I show up. Anyways, so I was done in like two seconds. And then he's like, okay, come, let's do the interview. Before that, though, when I was out there with girls chatting or whatever, um, they're like, oh, this is the first interview. If they want you, they'll do a second interview. May I say a second interview? First of all, the position ain't that big. It ain't no managerial position. Like, I don't even, I don't, why? Two interview? I went in, I was nice and sweet. I tried to hide my nails because you know, if I have nails on the business. So there was a gentleman and then there was a lady and the gentleman was, you know, he was pleasant. He was like, he was only about yourself. And I gave them like a two sentence synopsis because there's not much to learn. And, um, you know, the lady was like, oh, you said you're a nurse. Huh? So I was like, yeah, you know, um, I don't work in, you know, not licensed in Jamaica. Huh? I'm explaining and she's like, stop making my face myself and i'm like why does the woman always have to be like the one like anywhere you go like it's always nobody wants to deal with a woman or the woman like they they, they try to deal with the man because them no say you know it's just gonna be like you know anyway it's like the whole time she was like like giving me the face and i'm just trying to diffuse it by like you know like oh no 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 you know i don't think i'm gonna get the job let's see about that i mean Cause first of all, she was like, the salary, like, look what you want for the salary. That's what we pay people who have been working here for years. That's what you pay people who have been working here for years. This is me I come back and I see about two old people. Yeah. All because I want to fund my habits. <sighs> a lot of mercy. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to get a job. Um, reason being, two, two reasons. And I kept saying, like, I'm a creature of habit. And she's like, no, oh, I don't like the fact that you say you're a creature of habit. Because if you're a creature of habit, you would go back, man. So I was like, why would I go back to a toxic environment? Because it just that pissed me off at this point. And I said, like, if I don't go back, I'm for one reason. I'm a creature of habit. So I was like, you know, I'm sticking to the field and whatever. Just same job, different place, whatever. And she's like, you know, why not go back? Uh? And I'm... Anyways. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to get the job, like I was saying. Because I'm a nurse. So, oh, this one this is dry skin this is dry skin and i did moisture in my lips yeah so like i was saying i don't think i'm gonna get a job because i'm a nurse so i don't think i'm gonna get the job because not because i'm overqualified uh -huh, but no um <laughs> i don't think that's the thing i think i'm not gonna get the job because i'm a nurse and in her head i'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave soon because she's like oh so like you're gonna go overseas and work or whatever so I'm saying that's the plan but like I ain't hiding nothing I'm sorry but I don't know why my lip looks so yeah so I was like you know that's the plan but that's a process it takes years and she's like oh no i know that nurses like some nurses get too quick so i was like they're in a retrogression but she didn't know what i mean i shouldn't know what i mean and she's like mm, but you're gonna leave so you know i was really just trying to make light of the situation like you know da, 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 you know consider me um still you know i'm very trainable <laughs> very trainable and blah 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 and the gentleman he was just you know smiling politely and you know shaking me in and whatever and he must say yeah and and she just like Right? Miss like 
why like there's nothing wrong with my thing like i know i got a hundred on that test like me not ask no questions like me not ask no questions i only looked it over just to be on the safe side because i keep telling myself look over your work so i looked over my work that was the only reason for that but me i said like you know like i don't know i did i did my best i was honest it's on the paper that i have a u.s license so of course that question is going to be asked or whatever i don't know how else to reassure you but i'm like it's going to take a little while is that you want to help no you don't want to help i saw me see it so you know i'm a, i'm a seasoned bay so you know yeah i get like value for your money like i don't know by the way i got butter butter and them head tough and you know you have you know three four time you have teach and you have patient them i get all five juke six juke and them something like and it's not a brag like i'm just saying like you want somebody with some experience you know the schweppes you know you know but no no and the pay like you should see her face when she saw the pay she's like oh how much millions this is what so i was like you know you asked and you're basically asking me to value myself this is what i think i am worth and i was like i don't even think that but just to be go just to be you know i'm trying to yeah that was fun though I, and i was feeling down that was fun i got my my juice is flowing and speaking of juice i want to go get a juice i'm going to starbucks so i'm going to starbucks but no man like that lady really was just that lady like the gentleman was fine like um when he asked if you have any questions for me i was like you know don't think i'm gonna leave you because whatever call like my sissy my sister the man i think bought it so he's like it was on the top of my head and i'm like yeah my sister think bought it and she's just like like just i'm making cringy just like a cringy face and i'm like how the fuck are you like for customer service because like she's like the manager or whatever for customer service and i'm like your body language right now is just giving <laughs> was giving a lot of that thank you car I got low gas I just have to look at this place it's so beautiful this is why I come here because the environment like I feel so good so chill like I'm fire I know and this coffee it might just be the new fame I'll tell you what it is shortly but I try to take two pictures of the people come on I'll come back um yeah so the drink that I got is I don't know that first sip must have had me fooled but because you know they had like the cinnamon thing on the top and uh, I didn't get to take a picture of it and then the caramel drizzle so you know maybe the cold foam suck up right or something whatever so I had the cinnamon caramel uh, latte or or caramel cinnamon cinnamon caramel latte cold brew um so we just got a cool coffee with cinnamon and caramel and ice and whatever. And I was gonna add the white mocha to it. But no, any of me did add the white mocha to it, it would have been over. Like, it probably could have been the one, I think. But it looks like nobody didn't have the white mocha because the other Starbucks don't have the white mocha and then this Starbucks don't have the white mocha. And I'm like, that's just like, no, why? I don't know, the white mocha seals the deal for me because low key to me, like, that shit is condensed milk. <laughs> that shit is condensed milk, so. You know, it just makes anything sweet and coffee should be sweet, in my opinion. Like if you have the something sweet, it's sweet it. 
But anyways, so I took the cinnamon caramel latte cold brew or caramel cinnamon, whichever way you want to put it. Um, you know, extra caramel drizzle. She put like five pumps of the cinnamon dolce in there for me because they didn't have the white mocha, which is what I used for sweetening. I served for brown sugar syrup too. And I think she said she was out like, I know them have at this point. But anyways, um, first sip. Go back, cause like we're down to here. Like a coffee, it ain't gonna waste. So. It's good. If you like, if you love or like cinnamon, you will like this. Um, the cinnamon, the caramel last night. And it's a sucker piece of caramel, like the caramel last night can't be a cinnamon. But if I'm a cash, you put the five pump of cinnamon dolce in it. So may I get like, I'm getting cinnamon, like I'm getting cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. So if cinnamon make a shit, I should be shitting today. So I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. Um, and I like cinnamon flavored, but it's, 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 a, <laughs> it's a lot. Like even, it's on the coffee, a buckle. I saw the cinnamon tea tonight. So it is okay. I would give it a a six. If you really like cinnamon, it would possibly be an eight. I think that white mocha would have like shot shot it up like maybe two more. You know, I'm trying to find my favorite drink, man. I'm on the hunt. So the Q7 ones. Oh my God, it's in front of me. I want this Q7 right here. That's what I want. That's not my dream car, but that's like the next car that I want. Cause I have a big family. And there's seven seats and it's an Audi, like hello. <sighs> it's on my vision boys to upgrade my car. Between this year and next year. So that's that's gonna happen. Cause I gotta work. I gotta work. But um yeah, so yeah, the white mocha did it like I'm saying. I feel like I really bump it up. I'm on the search to find my favorite drink. So far right now it's caramel macchiato and Yeah. I eat that right now. What the fuck are we talking about? Coffee for so long. Huh? But I'm a coffee lover. So if, yeah, if you don't want to get a party, you can't see it. But you got to understand. So I think for, for right now, Carmel Macchiato is it. Now I'm asking you, please, the five people that watch my vlog, thank you for the support. <laughs> if you're a coffee drinker, or if you know somebody, know somebody, like suggest something to me. Like, you know, I mean, I'm not going to ever stop drinking coffee, but it's nice to switch it up in a while. It's like, you know, can we mix it up? So right now I'm stuck on caramel macchiato because it's just perfect, like, I mean, no, like, it's just perfect. Like the formula that I have right now, that quadruple espresso, venti, mocha sauce, extra drizzle. I feel like I could have add something else to it. You know, the other day I'm gonna get one toffee. One toffee, um, one toffee dolce? Oh, was it toffee? I think it was toffee, I know, but I feel like the caramel macchiato is like, I feel like it's a nine for me with a quadruple shot but i feel like it could be taken up a notch and i know that it just needs something it needs something to be added to it and then it would be like my perfect drink and then i'll just drink it like forever and ever and ever and it will never stop like you know i'll frap that bitch <laughs> i'll cold brew that bitch you know i'm just yeah so i'm on the hunt like i don't want no damn twix frap on them fuck snickers frap on them shit 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 like nah, that's what my that's what my son that's what my daughter um, um, you know, I want a big girl drink. I want coffee. I want my hair to like be like, yeah, that's what I want. Look at me, eat your bucket of Q7 year. You want a lot of things over there? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. But anyways, um, yeah, so <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for my day. I'm going to hit you. Yeah, my nails. Anyways, um, I just want to... <laughs> when I didn't bend over, we'll go part to the other day and I was trying to sit on the toilet because I was a little bit tipsy and I was like pulling up my clothes and then I was trying to sit and I sat on my nail and then it just flick over yes I saw Jesus I know every chance it just each one something is get annoying but anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you for spending the day with me coming on my interview with me <laughs> yeah but I just want to say oh I just want to say you know a little appreciation thank you to all my subscribers like your girl has like two 19 i think i peaked this morning like i can't i can't not look like every time we get one subscriber i'm like man i got one subscriber yeah it's a celebration over here but um i just want to say i have 219 subscribers thank you so much like more people are watching local vlog and i'm like oh my god more are like watching okay maybe you kind of like it <laughs> um i know but i know 
for, who, for who's watching, right? Even if you're new, like, what's my vlog about? I don't know. I have no idea. I just know that, well, I know why I started it, but that's kind of going to take a little time, so I'm vlogging in between, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to find my foot in here, and eventually I'll get a rhythm, so, you know, you can just hang out with me and see where it goes. You know, girl might blow up one day, I can say, yo, you know somebody did it from, should have like 200 people? Yeah. Watch my cousin, I call me, I ruined my vlog. Oh, shit, in the wrong lane. No fucking, no fit, no fit, no fit. My cousin not call me. I'm gonna answer the phone. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm hungry. But I sign up on the billboard with the money that dog. Right, so it's a fun time right this song. I don't know if we can't see the camera. I don't know if we can't see the billboard. Oh, Wendy's the right here, so that's why they want to advertise the food. Oh, that looks like pizza. Yeah, that's why they want to advertise the food. Oh, that's a KFC. Why so much food? Anyways. Wow. The weakness in me, like. We already got a lemon bubble gum. We already got a lemon bubble gum. So I'm back home. <clears throat> I stopped to get a key. Hello. Oh, are we? They won't I'm gonna close off the bug here. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what's going on? I you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna leave it here. I don't know why I'm Bye.